everyone this is uh, going to be part one of uh, two part videos about uh, turning a single use vape pen into a, an electric uh, screwdriver uh, single use uh, vape pens have become widely popular where I live you can find them in supermarkets, in restaurants, uh, gas station, virtually everywhere and to make things worse they made them in uh, some delicious flavors like blueberry intense in in this case so this hooks a lot of people and unfortunately when the liquid inside uh, runs out people usually throw them in the trash um, this is uh, very bad because there is actually batteries inside and this is very bad for the environment and also there is a couple of electronics that goes basically goes to waste uh, so I decided to make a bunch of projects that uh, can reuse those uh, single-use vape pens. Uh, for my electric screwdriver here, what I would use is the body of the vape pen, the cap on the back and also the, the battery that comes inside of the vape pen. Uh, what I've made here on this breadboard is a mock-up of a, uh, the insides of the electronic uh, screwdriver. So uh, I just want to go through all of the components one by one. The first uh, thing is the motor. I've chosen a 6 volt uh, 100 RPM uh, motor. I uh, got one with a gearbox. It's very important to get a to gear motor because uh, we need the torque to be sure that we can uh, have uh, the power to unscrew and screw the, the bolts. The next thing we got here is uh, this IC, it's a BA6-87F. It is a reversible motor driver for brushed motors. Basically it's a H bridge with two inputs to control the direction of the of the motor. This circuit that you can see here is pretty much taken from the PDF uh, for, for this IC. I'll just go quickly through it. Uh, this IC has two outputs. When one output is uh, uh, brought up high, the motor spins one direction. When the other button uh, or the other input of the AC is turned high, it goes the other way. Uh, you can see that when I release the button, it kind of goes spinning for some time. But if you push the two buttons together, it immediately holds. This is a function of the AC that it's called a brake. So we have one direction, the other direction, we have brake, and when the two outputs are low, we have idle. Mm. I couldn't find uh, if uh, this IC have internal pull down, so I got uh, two resistor like uh, 4.7k resistors that pulling the inputs down for this IC. Um, the motor is connected to the output of the IC. There's like uh, two decoupling capacitors for the motor and one decoupling capacitor for the um, uh, for the AC itself. Uh, this trim pot here actually controls the voltage and in effect the speed of this burst motor. Uh, there is another little component here. It's a SMD resistor that I soldered between pins uh, 2 and 3 that is actually controlling the current that goes through this motor. This AC can supply up to 1 ampere of uh, of current. Uh, here I will demonstrate how this trim pot actually works. If I get it and I spin it one direction the motor goes fast and if I turn it the other way it goes slower. So in effect we have a uh, speed control of our screwdriver here. The next IC you can see here is this IC. This is a boost converter. It takes the 3. 7 or 3.3 volts of the battery here and boosts it up to 8 volts. 
so we can spin the motor with the correct voltage. The BA6287F actually can be supplied with voltages from 6.5 to 3.4 volts. So we are well inside of the of the range. Next we have the battery. The battery is uh, taken from the vape pen, but actually uh, it has an uh, BMS inside, which is a battery management system. I will link a video below describing uh, how you can put one of those BMS on, on your batteries. And uh, the last thing uh, I, I have here is a uh, Vemos D1 uh, battery shield. Uh, it, it holds a charger that you can uh, charge the, the battery with it. Uh, it's a good design. It has two LEDs that uh, will give you feedback when the, the battery is uh, uh, if, if the battery is ready to be used. So yeah, this is the brains of the of the screwdriver on the guts. Next uh, episode, I'll show you how we'll actually put everything inside of the the, the screwdriver. Uh, if you want to find more projects, you can uh, see the link below to my Hackaday IO uh, project uh, vlog or uh, walk. Uh, yeah. I, I really hope that uh, this uh, catches up. Uh, I really hope that this became, will become the auto esteem of the hobby projects because uh, we can keep a lot of uh, single use vape pens out of the landfills. So thank, uh, thank you for, for watching and take care. Bye.